You can hear me okay, right? Yeah, mate. No worries. Perfect. You giving me a back rub, Jackson? Yep. Thank you. You so, can use this yourself if you want to. I know. It's my present. Thank you. So welcome, Eli. Welcome to the Snail Show from New Zealand, right? Yes, indeed, indeed. Yes. You've been, uh, be you've been listening to the channel for how long, would you say? Oh, I'd say three, three years. Maybe didn't find you straight away. Two years. How long have you been on? It's coming up on three years. I don't know. If, actually, no. I've had the channel since like 2013, but as far as me talking about other than regular life stuff, that happened around December 2016. So it's almost three years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, there was never any, any regular life stuff on there when, when, when I saw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a yeah, lot. Probably two years, probably two years. Yeah, it's, it's two, two and a half, something like that, that I've, that I've output. And there's a lot of, <laughs> uh, I've been through, I've been through lots of, lots of different shifts and different dimensions. I tell Andrea, it's like a different, a different dimension every month. Sometimes like more frequent yeah. than that. I've had that too, actually. Seems to be, uh, kind of calming down lately, possibly. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it seems like it's changing a little bit and sometimes it seems like it's the same old, but you know, it's, it's us. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe the changes are we're getting more used to what's going on and possibly not letting it bug us so much. Right, right. So tell me a little bit Let's about yourself. Start. Your daughter's five, um, you said? She's five now, yeah. And she seems uh, as well as any of us. Um, she's very sharp, um, active. So, fingers crossed. And, you know. Um, yeah, so, but after that, I started researching into... We just didn't trust what the doctors were telling us. You're saying your daughter had cancer, right? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, daughter had cancer, yes. Wow. At what age again? So we think she was born with it, but at eight months it uh, presented as, at the same time as um, uh, not pneumonia, uh, bronchitis. Okay. And so she was actually really, you know, the tumor was massive inside of her. It was a tumor on top of uh, the liver, which was called neuroblastoma, which um, at the time uh, they, they said it was uh, a very, very rare uh, child cancer, and now is uh, you know uh, on Google, it's the most common, one of the most common. Really? So in a period of not very long, it's gone from being very rare to very common. That's not a good trending uh, sign, I think. Uh, nah, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. Um. So yeah, eight months, and then yeah, we kind of got went in there, and they said we'd be in there for eighteen months, all of the stuff, and they ended up just doing four treatments and there's two types um, there's a lesser and a, and a more aggressive type and the more aggressive type is um, pretty nasty what type uh, did she have she had the lesser type okay yeah so we're also in a, a, in a starship hospital with a couple and their son had the more aggressive type which was quite a not a nice thing to um, be around when someone else's kid ends up having the more aggressive type and you have the lesser type. Um, so yeah, so after that, I, 
you know, it came out and nothing added up, so I started researching, and then all of a sudden everything just hit me out, you know. My health, people's health around me, uh, um, just start noticing the chemtrails and just getting deep into the research of what that actually was, and yeah, that opens up all sorts. Yeah, there are many different doorways to get into the sort of knowledge, I guess you could say. Yes, usually it starts with some type of trauma, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trauma or you notice that there's a an elephant in the room with family members or with friends where there's a, a discussion that's not wanting to be happened for whatever reason and then you try to find out into that situation and there there are so many different yes. routes to find out that something yes. is amiss. Yes. <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure. Mine was definitely health and then um Stepping out onto the porch and, and noticing the plane spraying, which I hadn't noticed, you know, I had not noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was all on from then. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fascinating to see the, the levels of blindfolds that people have because you have to have blindfolds, I think, to incarnate, I think, to be here at all as a spirit you know a spirited being you have to have some levels of veils you have to forget where you came from if you came from somewhere else you know what i'm saying like you have to you have to fully believe it so to speak but then yep. that in itself is almost like uh what do you call it for computers where there's like a, a there's like a, a an access point for other things to utilize the same like a gateway or or a, a there's a, there's a specific word I'm trying to think of, but that fact in and of itself that we have to have veils to begin with means that others could be added in without us being any more the, the you know, the wise because we it's, it's how we started in the first place in the natural state. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So it's it's really sure like it's a, it's a juggling act, you know. It's a it's a it's a crazy juggling act of introspection and finding out what is actually true for you because there are things that are true for us it's not like i know some people just get a little crazy and they're just like there's 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 nothing anymore there's there's no rationality there's no reason there's no nothing there's it's too much you know it's information overload but there is actually per individual there is a, a very solid set of what is or is not happening to you yes yes for sure for sure Mixed in with a bit of uh, <coughs> cognitive dissonance as well. Some of the topics you just, you just for yourself, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna find what's right. You know, you're gonna see both sides on some things, and mm -hmm. some things, yeah, you will see that true, and um, you'll just know, eh? Yeah, and it's it's so broad. The I even thought yeah. about it today. I was thinking like, if I were to compile a list of everything that I've come across, heard of, felt into myself energetically to see if that feels valid or not. If I were to compile a list, it would be like a book worth of individual different things that comprise what, what we call esoteric knowledge. And and the amazing thing is that this, the so-called average person is operating outside of all of them for the most part. They're operating yes, inside yes. of one very specific, very, very clamped, uh, Worldview. It's it's very astounding. It's hard to believe. Daddy. Yeah. Trying to, um, huh? You trying to feed the kitty? The cat food? Yeah, no. The um. Don't feed the kitty bread. I'll come help you feed the kitty in a little bit. Okay. That's exactly what um exactly what my daughter does whispers whispers in my ear because I've got um so this the, the five year old girl and then uh, her older sister who is seven and uh, that's to one mother and then from a previous relationship I have a son who is thirteen and he has been living in Switzerland uh, since I think since he was ten three years I think it's three years now so. Um, yeah, he's learned Swiss German and, and got to have a life over there and 
but his mum just recently got diagnosed with um, breast cancer, so she's gone through the cancer cancer battle over there as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's 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 pretty prevalent. My dad has had it. He's you know he's up there in age. He's he's seventy or seventy one, but my his sister, yep. my aunt got it. One of one of yep. my cousins from when I was with my ex, he was young. He was like 18, 17. He got it. He was playing football and he just randomly got cancer. Well, it's not random, but it's it's yep. it's so insane. The the bullying frog syndrome is perfectly there. Like that's what it is. It's bullying frog syndrome, and you don't even question it because a myriad of reasons why you don't question it or speak yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, like because of the program, yeah. It's amazing. And, and then at the same time, there are families that legitimately support their, their livelihood with this system, with the medical system that is pumping out pharma. So like it's, it's not it's hard to find a, uh, somebody to, to yell at, really. It's like everybody is just in this and this is what we have come to. This is just what it is. Yeah. So, so at what age do you think you started noticing cancers actually, like actually hearing of someone with cancer? Um, probably when my my cousin, who used to be my cousin, uh, I guess he's, you know, my my ex's cousin. When when I found when I found out about him, I think that was, I heard people in when I was in high school that had cancer, but that was the first one that was. Uh, hold on one second. Closely related. Yeah, that was the first one that was personal. Yes, yeah. Let, let me text. See, it would have been about 17 before I, I had even heard of one person having cancer. One, one moment, Eli, one moment. Yeah, no worries. Okay, um, yeah, so, like, I had heard about cancer and this and that, and is it, we hear about all these things. We hear, we hear about cigarettes, and we hear about, you know, the high cholesterol things. We hear about bad food. We hear about everything as kids yep. yes. that, that leads to Salt. these things, <laughs> but uh, I, I, hadn't really, I hadn't really seen it personally until... You know, I was I was quite a bit older, and it's it's very strange as well. Like, which you put what in the trash? You put all our bread in the trash? No, not all. Just whatever you took out for soccer. No. Okay, just let it be for now, okay? It's all. <laughs> Okay, okay, Jax. He's he's trying to feed the cat bread apparently. Oh yeah, they love feeding feeding the cats. <laughs> they love the bag out on the floor and mm -hmm. overfeeding the cat. Yep. I'm thirsty. I gotta get him some water. I'll be back in just a sec. Yeah, no worries, mate. Go for it. Go for it. Come here, come here, boy. He's watching Turbo, a Disney movie. Yeah, okay. So, how is your water there? Uh, like here in general, the states, California, yeah, so this house. Yeah, this that house. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's what what they call like track home communities. 
So it's like a mass produced house. It's like Walmart community center. It's nice houses. They're they're nice houses. Um, but it's it's like I wouldn't choose to live here if if I had to say that I'm here because you know I have to be here for because of circumstances. Yeah. But you know all the houses have the smart meters and like when I first came in, I heard it was a lot of ringing and tones and stuff that my, my hearing had to adjust to. And yeah, you know, the people, they, they move in predetermined grooves here and the neighbor's situation is not amenable to our particular energy, but it is yeah. what it is. It's a place to live for now. I, I would prefer to be in some sort of a, a conscious community where people actually talk to each other, you know, but yeah, I've seen you saying that growing vegetables and whatnot. And yeah, yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, I don't so much grow vegetables here, but um, I'm on a kind of clay block. I used to have my old old property, mainly uh, chilies and whatnot. But the uh, farmer next to me, he um, he plows up this massive garden every year, and it just turns into this um, Jurassic Park, basically. <laughs> um, That's good. He's very clever. He's, he's a Mormon guy, and um, it seems to just feed. His, his family and stuff, but he does look like so much peas. Like, you can take the kids down there and just pick bags and bags of peas, and um, pretty nice. Yeah. Do you garden at all? Yeah, I do. I do garden, but I have, I've tried on this property, but um, it's, it's more on the rigid again. It's not really that suitable. Yeah, unfortunately. The, the soil, the soil isn't peas. great. The soil. What's that, sorry? The soil isn't great. Nah, it's just, hey, it's all totally clay. The farmer okay. came up and put his tractor over it and plowed it up, but it just wasn't very good. You probably have to slowly dilute it with other, with other material yeah. like compost and stuff like that. Yes. yes, yes, for sure, for sure. My mate's about half an hour away, and he's on an extremely volcanic piece. So every time I go over, I take the trailer and um, make a load of his. <laughs> Yeah, the ash the ash is supposed to help, right? Like uh, yes, yep, yep, anytime sure, anytime sure. you have a forest fire or something like the 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 plant life grows back more vibrantly as far as I know. Yeah, well that's quite interesting cuz um, I'm in the area where uh, the carry logging was uh, you know, colonization they logged all the all the trees. But um, it kind of looks like um, a lot of it was just burnt to um, fertilize the, the paddocks that they were clearing and they, they had good success farming for about 10 years after that and then the farms just died off with mm. you know, there's no life left in them are, are, yeah. are you guys having the same sort of uh, like monopolization of, of corporations there or or are mom and yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah yeah it's mad really yeah if you look at yeah um, no mom and with, pop with shops What's that, sorry? Are there are there individual businesses around still, or is it is it mostly big big business? It's, yeah, there's not much left really. You know, people are starting to do night markets and markets and things. That's really picked up, but um, everything's so expensive here, really expensive. And yeah, it just seems like the corporations have done well in just not leaving much left for people. Yeah. It's weird. It's a it's a it's a strange thing. The corporation is is <laughs> that's another thing. Like the meaning of that word and and what that entity actually serves. Like it, it the word means corpse oration. It means speaking life into something that is dead, which is the the fake name, right? Yep. And everyone sits yep. underneath that umbrella of whatever the name happens to be, and they give all the energy into it but that thing itself in a strange way has a, some sort of a life in terms of i guess you could call like algorithmic progression or as a container for the people that flow through it but it's not yes. it doesn't care about the individual cells that flow through it for the most part it, it's trying to sustain its own like placard name banner somehow that and somehow it has it does have a weird sort of like sucking life of its own outside of uh, the people's belief in it, it seems almost like that, that. that's how it is with some corporations. It almost seems to hear split life. So 
you've got the people that uh, survive on the welfare and, and, and things that it gives, and then the ones that are able to, I guess, run their own businesses, which are kind of mini little corporations, really, which are, you know, can do quite well, and then you get the, the, um, the whole divide that comes from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's almost uh, creates quite a, a bipolar effect. Yeah, it, it's here. It's like it's like getting invested to a thought form, uh, and while thinking that you're invested in uh, a so-called tangible asset, kind of a thing, and it's a weird kind of mind trip because you do like say a corporation has three hundred employees. That that name does represent a group of people, but everyone who think yep. everyone who w- w- when they pour their stuff into it 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 takes pieces of the energy it doesn't just let the the cells inside it needs to live like it's a body just like our body you know we yes. we're the same thing in a sense the corporation i think is modeled in a corrupt way after the human body or just any body like an animal a, a galaxy what any kind of autonomous self-sustaining unit but the corporation yeah. is more yeah. it's 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 as the name says, it's dead, like it's death. It's keeping the dead thing alive. For sure, for sure. Because you can still run your own building business or your own plumbing business, yet you still have to go back to the corporation to feed the supplies to, to run it. Yeah, you can do, like here you can do what's called, a, what is it called? Sole proprietorship. They have all these names, like there are so many legal names yeah. for what the thing is that you're trying to do. But as the human who's like operating within this this structure, you can see you can see the the mental that's behind this thing itself. And this thing itself is only interested in numbers and you know something that is tangible. Like that's why when you walk into a store, they don't actually see you. Like they don't greet you like a friend unless that. They're told to greet the people like a friend because it makes them more likely to have a good experience and more likely to come back. You know, they, they say, can I have your credit card with your credit card number? Can I have your social security number? Can I have your date of birth? Like the, the same standard three questions are asked of every human. And very rarely, only if you already know that person, is there an actual energetic where you feel your own internal energetics responding to the other living being. You know, it doesn't happen very often. And there's something yeah, there's something wrong with that. Work, eh? What's that? You have to spark that people. You have to spark that in people. Way and it yeah. takes a little bit, but but it can happen. It yeah, can, yeah. You see some of the people smile and you walk away, and but a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, you can. You that that's that's the unique thing that we have going on. That when you can remember to, like when you can remember that, outside of all the bullshit like you're you're running around in an avatar flesh suit thing and you can interact with everything you can interact with every other being that's walking around you can interact with every plant every animal there yes. are there are rules to yes. it you know there are rules there yes. there's there's co- sort of a moral compass that people need to follow there's there are things but the 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 mind like entrainment system has most people without even a hint of that knowledge they just they literally just follow the train track and they they go and do the same thing and they do the same thing and then when they come across someone who actually can you know like elucidate a thought or 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 you know speak in a complex fashion and actually recognize them as a living being they don't they don't get what's going on because it's not part of it's not part of a, a pre-recognized pattern the people skills just aren't there that the, um yeah, they just people don't seem to have the skills to um, to talk anymore. They don't. People don't talk. <laughs> you know, like I'll go out. Yeah. And I'll, I'll go out and I'll watch. I will. I will specifically set the intent. Like, let's see if we can find some sort of conversation happening, and hopefully about the actual, you know, arena in which everybody's inside of, rather than this store, that store, this TV show, that sports star. You know, rather than the programs only that's the that's the conversation topics i want to come across someone having a an actual conversation that includes a, a vast breadth of knowledge you know and i don't i don't yes. i don't see it 
So what um, what I've been doing, like, because uh, a lot's gone on, but uh, there's uh, so there's mouldy hot springs uh, up the road from me, which they're actually sucking dry now. Uh, the, the, the Rothschild Power Company's gone in there and they're building a huge big um, geothermal energy plant, probably to run um, some type of computers or something. I don't know why we need that much energy up here. But... Um, at that place, you can jump into the pools and you can just have the most amazing out there conversations with people. It just it just draws those type of people in. Yeah. It's actually really really good. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like people have even come up with some more more crazy topics than I can bring up, which is, <laughs> is really cool. That's good, dude. It's good because like this is. You know, I'm pretty patient. I'm a pretty patient person, but there, there, yeah. there's, there's a certain, there's a certain, like, veneer of glass that once it's broken, the, the people who are here realize that it's, it's literally our thing. There isn't an external thing. We projected it out, and then we bow down to it in whatever form. I don't. I'm not even necessarily talking about the religious. That's like the most big version of that, but. Everything else, yes. you know, whether it be listening to the school person or listening to the talking head on TV, you project your power out to that person or that entity or that program or that being, and then you therefore relinquish all personal responsibility and all possibility for like creative living. You know, like yeah. it's the silliest thing because once you just see around one corner, then you realize. You know, we there's nothing stopping us from talking to each other. There are there are some suppressions. There are algorithmic suppressions. Everybody's aware of that. Certain things are are you know tried to, a lid is tried to be kept on certain things. But in truth, you know, there's nothing stopping anybody from doing anything. Like, you just wake up and do something different. You know, talk to somebody else, or I'll I'll wake up and have someone else on the show. You know, like create a little bit of different energy. You know, it's not it's not For that sure. difficult. For sure, even when you uh, walk down the footpath and you say hello to uh, someone, um, quite often they're just very surprised that someone said hello. Yeah, or that even somebody noticed them in the first place, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, somebody else knows I exist. Like, what is this? This is strange. You know, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. And sometimes you can stop and talk to them. Usually, if they've got animals or. Um, you know, if they're walking a dog or something and you compliment the dog or say something and then that usually sparks conversation yeah, or if yeah. you've got your kids with you and they've got kids or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, and I, you know, it's it's very easy to fall into a, a pit of negativity and, and, you know, or else just yeah, be, be cynical and, you know, bitter about everything. I've, I've done my fair share of that, but me too i'm coming through that now yeah if, if you keep your energy good and anybody can like there's there are plenty of simple methods to keep your internal energy correct like if you think about it we're navigating this this spaceship body thing and really i've said this many times but the the future is an illusion the past is some sort of memory of what we thought happened and, and it, they both don't really exist like there's no sense in getting hung up on really any of it maybe some big parts you know if you get punched in the face or if you know someone dies or whatever maybe you hold on to that yeah, something thing to be for, but yeah you know you're right but there's no there's no reason to just be in that and that literally is that's the entrainment of the whole society the whole society has gotten themselves in entrained to this this thing you know like i called it the 70 year plan in a video about a year ago i was like these people are thinking about their retirement plan while they're 16 years old it's like yeah maybe we've gotten the system to be so nasty to where you have to think about that at 16 but you know if you're just doing all these things and having all these plans in place you know you you don't know how to be present nobody's ever told you how to be present nobody even has you have never heard of what does it mean what does it mean that i exist right now nobody nobody's ever told you you've never thought of it yeah yeah for sure i think from the past um people could put those plans in place and they seem to pan out kind of just how you wanted um you know with the the jobs had enough so you could buy the house and da 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 da, da. but now it's just so randomly out there how could you even plan for 10 minutes, uh, well, half an hour down the track. Yeah, really? and, and the, the, the system is too big 
okay, even the population is too big. If it actually started out, if we actually grew billions of people over a span of 100 years, which is what it, by the numbers, that's what they act like it is. You know, we doubled in population over less than 100 years or 200 years, whatever it is, whatever is a tiny amount of time. Uh, if the planet is finite, if it's not just an infinite flat plane where there's infinite resources, then this population growth is completely unsustainable. And whatever sort of thought systems we had to help us survive during this unlimited, we call it unlimited economic expansion. Like that's what the so-called economy needs to not crash, but it was built in an intentionally flawed way so that it grows and, and, and eats everything in its path. And what eventually happens if you let it go is the... That's all done. Go turn on. It's really done. Mm -hmm. But there's just not. It's it's unsustainable because it's like you put you take a balanced plan and someone says let me tweak it just like this to where it it acts like everyone's being taken care of, but actually in actuality it keeps creeping out at the edges, creeping out at the edges, yes. creeping out at the edges, and then eventually you outgrow your your planet's footprint of sustainability. Yes. I said done. Is it done? Done. You want to watch another one or you want to not? I want a different one. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute, Eli. I'm going to help Jackson out real quick. Okay, Gary. I'll pan the countryside for people. <laughs> yeah. See if you can find someone who wants to join the show. <laughs> it's really bad. Did you like it? Yeah. So that's the view out of the second story window, out over the hills and whatnot don't really have uh, any neighbours apart from a farm and a road. But anyway, I'll wait for Gary to get back. Okay, I'm not going to go for too much longer because I, I do only yeah, have him yeah, once sure, a week. And, sure. Yeah, but... Uh, what I was just going to say, I was just gonna say on, the, on, on what we were just talking about, a, a good example was um, if you look back at your father or your grandfather and a, and a chisel that they might have um, had in their toolbox, and that chisel would uh, last until, until the, the sun got it, and you'd be able to sharpen that chisel and use it. And if now, if you go out to uh, any hardware store and buy a chisel, it won't even sharpen, breaks. Mm -hmm. None of the tools last or do. They're just absolute crap and rubbish. You can't even sharpen them. Yeah, that that's called planned obsolescence. And and that is what is just um, wrecking everything. Basically, that whole mentality of of. Um, of, of the stuff that we use. Yep. Just crap. Yeah, it, it's... It's not a healthy system. Nobody needs all these products. You need a product, two products, whatever. You need things to survive and then use those things until they're done or you use them responsibly, you know, be respectful to the land from which you took the thing. Like... Yes. We we are completely upside down. There's there's no debating whether 
the society is like exactly. doing anything correct. It's, it's just upside down. Exactly. And and yeah. whatever whatever thought constructs were taught back when my parents were children, even if they worked o okay then, and that's a big stretch to 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 surmise that. Uh, they had they're 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 virtually teaching the same thing, and we're we're. 10 billion different dimensions away from whenever they were teaching it in the 60s and 70s we're not in the same world yes. anymore at all we're not in the yes, same not, universe not at all. and not no, at all. nothing that is taught in there is applicable to the conscious experience that beings have now now here and now it's not even applicable to yeah. people whatsoever so uh, so you uh, so the, the 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 kids go in there and they sense within themselves, they sense that whatever is being spoken about is a bunch of bullshit. They know it. They, everyone knows it's nonsense. Like the kids know, th they, know they, they understand the actual life. Like they understand spats and corals and they understand sort of like energetic, uh, you know, balances and push and pull and all that stuff. They get it. They understand that. But then whatever comes out of the teacher's mouths is not applicable to them as a being whatsoever. Yep. It's just yeah, not for sure, for sure. And that's not a good sign, you know. Like, if it's not applicable at all, then what's what's the point behind it? And who's deciding that that is supposed to be happening anyway? You know, like. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it stopped me wanting things because I'm just sick of it breaking. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. I don't. A lot of people aren't in their uh, in their mentality. They still want these things, like. Uh, Everything, everything is just, is just crap. There's, there's a few small companies that still produce good things. If you hunt them down, you know. But the majority is just rubbish. Well, it, it, the the idea is that if company A produces goods, if all these goods are bought, that's a good thing, okay? That that's the the very basic idea that runs the economy. If a company produces a bunch of goods that are approved by whoever you know governing agency is is okay to produce in this realm, and as many people buy those things as possible, ding ding ding, that's good, okay? That's the whole that's the whole base of the economy. It's not, yep, and and, and it's it's unsustainable and so that's why planned obsolescence had to be added into it and that just means you plan that it breaks so customer will come back into store and buy product and then ding 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 we did good customer came back and ooh they bought another one ding 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 we did good yep. and it's like <laughs> it's like these things are coming from trees rocks they're coming from natural processes that take eons to sort of formulate a certain type of material and we just think yep. of, oh, customer comes and buys the thing. Ding, ding, ding. We did good. Like, it's this, you know, you can't, you can't wrap your brain around it, how the stupidity of it. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's why, that's why sometimes I'll talk, about, I'll talk about the, the dream aspect of this world slash realm because like only in a, in a whacked out, like insane dream could the sort of things we see witness with our eyeballs on a day-to-day -day basis even be happening. Like the things that Trump says, the tweeting, the, the like tr schoolyard bully type tactics that he's doing. It's like, yeah. I was, I was telling Andrea the other day, I was like, it, it just came to the point where, where whatever the politicians are doing is, is what the kids are doing in the playground. It's just that they have money. Like this kid's like, Oh, you're ugly. And now he throws $50,000 to, to hire a group of people to harass the kid that he called ugly. And they all say, hi, you're ugly. They're all like big, you know, that's what politics is. And, and you know, they're, they're like, Oh, we're powerful because our insults have a bunch of money and power and we can hire people to throw poop at each other, but it doesn't accomplish anything besides, you know, keep the entrainment train going indefinitely for sure it didn't it didn't accomplish anything at school and that was happening and you didn't want to be there and um you know your your, your brain shut off not that we're learning anything really that that spectacular anyway but you know no we're not we're not we're really not yeah but i mean i think we're witnessing what happens when the these people that are supposed to be leading are falling prey to the parasitic mind that it literally is every thought and every movement is a knee-jerk spasmic sort of Ugh. it's like somebody 
the politics has a thought and it's just like Bleh. and then that that grunt that they made it gets typed out you know it gets polished up a little bit and they put it out on the news and then you know the all the people listening and watching and they they eat all that stuff up and it's like say something remotely relevant if you can like otherwise <laughs> I, I don't know you know at a certain point you have to pull back from it because it's just it's ridiculous yes yeah yeah for sure there, there also is the uh, kind of possibility that um all the resources get used up and nothing really works so everyone switches over to um to total online um lifestyle that's already so happening too it. that's already happening yeah. too Amazon is responsible for half of all retail purchases. That's I, I heard that stat recently. Amazon.com is responsible for like half of the total amount of products bought online. Or I don't even remember what this. I think it's it's taking over like the brick and mortar stores too. Like the automation process is taking over. The clerks are dwindling in number. Everyone notices it. Stores that used to have you know eight clerks, grocery stores yep. now there's only two of them. And they're paid minimum wage. Got, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, they got the AI ones where you scan it. Mhm. Mm yeah, there's there's self checkout kiosks in all the big stores, yeah. and yeah. it's like, you know, the mindset that is driving that for the company because it says automation is efficient and it saves us money, right? But yeah. that mindset is is speaking to CEO and shareholders. And the we, you know, the we is not as broadly encompassing as it should be. Like, it's it's a very specific, like, this is helping a certain echelon of people and it's not helping another. And uh, I don't know, like, I don't know how far it can go before it's just, I've already, I've already abandoned it as, as far as really being worthy of my attention. It's not worthy of my attention. Like none of that structure is worthy of my attention. I'm intelligent. I actually have intelligence. It's not worthy of it. Yeah. 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 All I've done is just stopped buying things that I know are going to be crap and just, you know, getting by with, with what you got. Yeah. And, and Which is a good thing. then you start actually knowing the things that you have, like, you, you, your pair of shoes, like you've had it for two or three, four or five years, like there's a wear pattern on the sole, your foot has imprinted a certain thing inside of the shoe, things smell a certain way, it responds, you you know it, you start knowing your things intimately rather than trying to buy the shiny thing that, you know, makes you get a little shot of adrenaline when you buy it and then you're, yeah, done, yeah, totally. <laughs> you're done with it two minutes later, you know. Totally, totally. And then one other thing on that topic I'm noticing is all the good secondhand stuff that does come from the era where things were made to last is, is um, fetching some good prices. Yeah, yeah. The same yeah. thing is happening with bands that were good, that didn't have a ton of, you know, before the internet explosion happened, like even in the 80s and 90s, these bands, the Depeche Modes, the, the Linkin Park, the fallout boy even even though that's like a more modern all the ones that were sort of like popular in the 80s and 90s but we knew it was good music now if you go look at yep. any of those online they all have 20 30 million views and it's because they're it's actual quality and there's not much quality music like that being produced anymore. yeah true 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 i'm noticing that yeah, yeah. if you look back on all, all the um beatles older clips yeah the, the views are huge Eminem even like he was old school he he did his own very unique thing when he was sort of still in control of himself to an extent and now he's, he's <laughs> billion you know he's got billions of views and you know everything gets co-opted everything gets taken over by whatever this sort of insidious or selfish or ego driven energy is it seems to always get co-opted but like true true value in some in a in a, in a product or a like a artistic creation it's recognizable and if it's if something is like a, a fake grass style of product everyone looks at that or at least i look at that i'm like why is why does there need to be fake grass there like how, you don't enjoy mowing your lawn like you don't enjoy seeing flowers and, yep how you how you pause the tv <laughs> pause the tv press the same button that you used to start it that will pause it yeah, this it turned into a bit of a rant, but 
yeah. yeah, yeah. It was yeah. always going to be that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless, we, unless we arrive in Utopia somehow, I suppose. Yeah. I'll see how it goes, eh? How do you how do Speak you how do you feel about um, your own personal sort of way through or way forward with with having a lot of different knowledge and also how do you relate that path with the collective because the collective is not going to just go away. Well, I'm not too sure because um, what my health is pretty bad. Like I got heaps of heaps of the nanotech symptoms and you know borderline targeting symptoms so mm -hmm. um in my head my projects have, i've done reasonably well considering that um of, of just formatting what i need and staying away from things before i really jumped awake mm -hmm. but um i i see projects and i take them on but i don't have the energy to kind of you know Get through them all. Like, have you listened to Doctor Virtual Seven? I think his name is at all. No, no. Look this guy up. He he makes tones specifically for nano and entrainment systems and AI and literally every everything that is bad is bad that fre frequency wise. Go look him up in the. You just you plug him in and do a meditation to the sounds. It's very simple. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's Doctor Virtual Seven. I've, Virtual seven. I've. Uh, I'll. will send you. Doctor Virtual seven. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you. Uh, when we're done with the call, I'll send you one of the videos, the nano videos, yeah, and no, you can check no, it out. No, no. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure. Really, I'm at the stage <clears> of not too sure. A lot of us are there. It's not. It's pretty normal. Yeah. Normal space to be in. Yeah. But like yeah, yeah, taking yeah. taking care of personal health, I think is is pretty up there, you know, in terms of importance. If you're if you're yeah. if you're failing to a disease or something, you can't do a whole lot, you know. No, no, for sure. And I got hit pretty hard by all this knowledge, so I'm just coming out of all that now. A whole lot of bad, not bad stuff, just just obstacles turned up, and um, I can see them all all being cleared now, basically. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Well, I, I think I'm going to take off, uh, Eli. Um, yeah, got to get, get back to it. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you. Yeah. No, no, thanks. It's been good. It's been good for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again sometime. I'll send you a link to one yeah, of man. his videos and give it, give it a whirl. Give it a meditation whirl. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. All right. Thank you, Eli. Okay, bye. Enjoy right. your son. We'll see take, you later, Take care. Jax, you ready for a sandwich? Okay. What the heck? 